On today's show, we will be transforming this jar into copper using this graphite spray. Um, <clears throat> so what I've done to this jar, and it's just a simple mason jar, is uh, I've attached wire here and here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to spray this glass part. This is a graphite spray. Um, in Canada, uh, it costs about uh, 10 11 dollars. Um, now, it's not a type of spray you can use inside because it's composed uh, mostly of acetone and graphite. So it's really uh, stinky for, for indoor use. But <clears throat> what it is really good for is for coating glass and getting you a much smoother clay. So we're going to do something very interesting uh, with this jar. Hello, we're outside. Um, we have our hand paint. Uh, we got our mask piece of glass. So we're just going to give it a spray. Make sure you spray away from you, downwind. This is an acetone spray, so the acetone uh, evaporates quite quickly, leaving a uh, graphite surface. Because it's so cold outside, um, it takes a little bit longer for it to dry. Okay, um, that's it. We're just going to let this dry, then we're going to take the mask off and wire it up and then stick it in the tank. Back inside. Um, this is, uh, has been painted with our graphite paint. Um, nice, really black uh, finish. Um, if you lightly buff it, it kind of gives you this uh, really groovy, uh, silvery kind of tint. Um, but it is delicate, so we don't really want to touch it. If we scratch it, it's really going to show up. Um, so we're just going to remove the mask. Right, and I have some at the bottom here. So this is what we have. Uh, glass on the bottom. Uh, there's no point in uh, adding extra metal. Um, for every square inch, you need approximately 0.1 to 0.2 of an amp. So if you have a small rectifier, um, you will be pushing it uh, doing uh, full coverage items such as this. So. Um, we're just going to attach some wire and uh, immerse it into the tank. All right, um, we got it wired up here. Um, this is a very small, I call it my prototyping tank, um, and I use it uh, a lot for demonstration purposes. You can actually do a lot with a, a small tank like this and a 10 amp rectifier. Um, today we're just going to uh, immerse this in the solution. Um, should really be wearing glasses or safety glasses when doing this because sometimes it likes to splash. Um, and while not immediately toxic, there's a degree of toxicity when you're working with uh, metal salts. Um, I work exclusively in, in copper. Uh, other metals such as uh, nickel and others uh, can pose more of a significant health risk than a little bit of copper sulfate, um, which they actually use in the southwest of medicine, um, but you still have to exercise a degree of care. This is, after all, battery acid, essentially, um, and if you get some on you, you need to rinse off and stuff. So make sure you don't get splashed in the eyes. Um, wear these. Um, or if you have glasses, then you do. You just want to avoid getting stuff in your eyes. Anyway, um, we're going to stick it in here. This will probably take about uh, four to six hours to get a really nice coat on it. Um, so we'll just let that rest, and I will touch up the amps as, as we go. And uh, after it's run at six hours, we'll take a look at it and uh, see, see what happens. All right, this is our little jar. It's nice and 
done. So I'm just going to quickly uh, uh, deburr this, uh, give it a light uh, uh, puff afterwards, but I got to uh, have to neutralize this acid. Welcome back. Um, okay, this is the jar. Um, it's done inside of the tank. It's uh, completely uh, plated now. This was um, graphite spray. Um, and I discussed uh, briefly a bit about graphite spray in a prior episode. Graphite spray is really good for glass. Um, this is just a, a mason jar. Um, and I put uh, some wire on the bottom and, and top. Um, I wasn't too concerned about fine finishing because I'm actually going to use this as uh, a paint jar so I can uh, put my uh, copper paint I made in a prior episode in here and just have this uh, around as, as my copper jar. Um, so if you have sensitive uh, liquids, for example, and you need to store them in, in your shop, um, you may want to incorporate uh, like a completely opaque surface. Um, so with copper, you can have that opaque surface. Um, the neat thing about copper, uh, especially if you want to have temperature control, um, copper is a great conductor of heat. So whatever the ambient temperature is, uh, this copper is really going to transfer it to the inside of the jar. So um, always at, at room temperature. But with a small can of uh, uh, that graphite spray, um, you can do probably a dozen jars. And if you have a small 10 amp rectifier in a 10 gallon tank, um, you may be able to do three of these at a time in a 12-hour run. So in about uh, <clears throat> three or four days, uh, you can have a, have a dozen of these. Now, if you're at a craft fair, um, you can sell them as storage jars. Do not use them as candle jars because of the conductivity of the heat of the copper. And besides, mason jars never make uh, really good candle uh, anyway because of the curvature they stuff themselves so um, but that's just using uh, graphite spray so I'm gonna have this around and if you see this uh, on my show um, that's where my my graphite uh, paint I made this anyway if you like uh, stuff like this uh, please like and subscribe um, check out my website promaker.ca it's actually uh, an Etsy uh, pattern website um, it's all right um, so anyway, please check that out. Um, I make transform 3D printed objects into copper, and if you need anything custom, uh, just uh, let me know. Um, until next time, thanks for stopping by.